Plus, new questions concerning Donald Trump's position on immigration and undocumented workers. Did Mr. Trump just soften his policy? I guess we're going to address that again. Illegal immigrants convicted of committing crimes get to stay, collecting Social Security benefits, skipping the line. Our border open, it's more of the same, but worse. Donald Trump's America is secure. Terrorist and dangerous criminals kept out. The border secure, our families safe. Well, that's Donald Trump's new political commercial focusing on immigration, reaffirming the hardline approach he has to that issue. And the policy is setting the tone for the campaign, but it comes amid some new questions today over a recent meeting that he had this weekend with Hispanic leaders. Some of those uh, leaders who attended that meeting at Trump Tower apparently expressing, uh, saying that Mr. Trump is expressing openness to legalize illegal immigrants and maybe not deport 11 million of them that are believed to be here. The Trump campaign is denying this, so what's this all about? Brad Blakeman, former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush, joins us, as does Mark Levine, who is a radio talk show host and Virginia Democratic state representative. Welcome to you both. Brad, let me start Thanks. with you. Uh, just a few moments ago, Boris Epstein, uh, one of uh, Donald Trump's advisors, just told Arthel there is no shift in immigration policy. So w what is it you think this is all about? I think there is a shift and you know the thing people most like about Donald Trump is when he's when he levels with people and I think he's coming to realize now after meeting with Hispanic leaders and going around the country that uh, he has to soften his approach in immigration and one thing is for sure Eric we know that under Obama the last seven plus years he promised immigration reform in his first year in seven in 2007 and 8 he ran on immigration reform in his in his inaugural address he talked about it he talked about it days after that in a joint address to Congress and did nothing. Donald Trump's going to do something, and I think what Donald Trump has come to realize is there's got to be a pathway to citizenship. We have to secure the borders, and that's the proper uh, way to do things because a president can't do things because he wants to do it. He has to do it by consensus. Donald Trump's not going to have a pen and a phone. He's actually going to work with Congress to get a solution. Yeah, well, Mark, look, uh, there are some are saying that there's a congressional bill that uh, Governor Pence supported when he was a congressman that basically would uh, have people leave and then reapply for a visa to come back. Do you think that's what's going to be in the plan? You know what? No one knows what's going to be in the plan. Donald Trump doesn't know what's going to be in the plan. Brad Blakeman doesn't know. His campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway, said, ah, it will be determined. Donald Trump has a habit of telling people what they want to hear. He tells people he's going to deport the 11 million. Uh, he tells that to a bunch of white people that don't like Mexicans. And then he tells Latinos, uh, well, you know, we, there may be some path. We don't know what he stands for. Donald Trump doesn't know what he stands for. He never expected to get this far. This was all a lark. This was all a way to promote Trump brands. And now he's like the dog that caught the car. He's got the nomination. He has no plans. He'll just try to figure it out later. Brad, do you think that's fair that this is a lark? No, it's not a lark. Donald Trump, if anything, his greatest strength is being underestimated, just like it is being done now. He's being poo-pooed, and that's 16 other Republicans did that in the primary, and they did it to their detriment. And I think the more you discount Donald Trump, the more you're not facing the reality of the huge uh, um, base of people, both Republicans and Democrats, who are sick of the status quo. But, well, but Brad, you just said that he went back on his entire pledge. His whole pledge was no, build a wall, no, deport them all. I, no, and I did. He's not, he's not no, I never that. said that. No, I never said that. I you said, said he's, he's looking doing for a path to citizenship. Let, let Brad answer. No. And look, Donald Trump said, first and foremost, we're going to secure the border. That's been the Republican mantra for years. The problem he is this president never did million. anything about it. But we do but know what Hillary Clinton is. We, we do know what Hillary Clinton is going to do. She's going to grant amnesty for 11 million illegals in this and country. And then, she's going to, and then she's going to leave Donald Trump, I believe, after speaking to the constituents of, of Latino and Hispanic Americans, is going to come around to a pathway to citizenship. Because in really? this country, the good Amnesty. news is, the, the, no, a pathway to citizenship. It's not See, Amnesty I support at all. a pathway all right, to Brad, citizenship. Let, let Mark. That's what Democrats support. But Donald Trump has been not, all over the map. Hillary. His whole proposal has been deport the 11 million. We're going to have a strike force and we're going to deport the 11 million. That's what got him a lot of votes in the Republican primary. Now you say he's switching, but his own spokesman won't say what side he's on. I think the answer is we don't know because Donald Trump so, doesn't know what so side Mark, he's on. So, Mark, on Thursday, uh, quickly, uh, he's going to have a big speech on this in Colorado on immigration on Thursday. Uh, again, what do you think we expect and what is, what is he going to say? 
I don't know. I think he'll try to be all sides to all people the way he always is. You know, he's a great con man. He's a really, he'll give a really good sales job. He'll tell us he's going to make America great again. But specifically what will it entail, we don't know. Hillary Clinton has very specific policy proposals. You may like them, you may not like them. But she tells you what she's going to do. With Donald Trump, no one right, really Brad, knows. Brad, what do you think he's going to say? And is he going to match Mrs. Clinton's proposals? I, I think what Donald Trump is going to do is he's going to talk about securing the border, and he's going to be talking about a fair and equitable way of a pathway to citizenship for the people that are here. They don't get to jump the line. They have to go back. They have to pay taxes, and they have to come here the proper way. And if he does that, I think he'll get tremendous support in the Hispanic community. Because, Eric, one thing is for sure, we don't have the money to round up 11 million people. We don't have the assets to do it, both physical and personnel. And by the way, we don't have the will of the people to do it. So Brad, if you take all those three that's together. That's a democratic well, position. No, it isn't. Amnesty is the democratic position. Just get blanket because no, you, you see it as party building. We see it as securing no, the nation. No, it's a pathway to citizenship. This is what President Obama has proposed. This is, in fact, the immigration reform bill. He's never done it. Bill that, He's never well, done he can't it. do it because right, Republicans switch sides on it. Well, we'll be, we'll be talking about this with you two guys until Thursday. So we got to go yeah, now. We'll wait to see what he says on Thursday, and we'll get back to you for analysis. Uh, Thanks, Brad and Mark, thank you. Thanks. Arthel? Okay, Eric. We'll work